Welcome to the Golden Coast of Georgia. The Golden Coast is the eastern shore of Georgia nestled midway between Savannah, Georgia and Jacksonville, Florida. Every night we'll stay in a new hotel so you can see as many of the stays as possible and we'll show you what we like. We'll also show you a few other great places we wish we would have stayed. We cover options from lower cost to the high-end resorts from family and adults only. Remember, we only show you the places we recommend. We'll review where we ate and what we loved about the food. One thing we don't do on this channel is waste your time with the places that did not make the cut. We have been wanting to come to the Sea Island Resort, the Cloisters and the Lodge and the whole family of resorts for some time. So I was really excited when we finally got the chance to come here. And actually it was the whole reason we ended up coming up to St. Simon Islands. So there's three different parts to this resort. One is the Cloisters, which is the older area or the more traditional. Then you have the beachfront resort, the, and that's where we stayed. And then we have the Lodge, which is really a golfing community. So let's take a look at this, and if you're looking for Georgia hospitality and feeling like you're part of the rich and famous, this is the place to come stay. Hi, so we've just arrived at the Cloisters at Sea Island. I have been wanting to come here for a very, very long time. This is an exclusive island, an exclusive property with the best of everything. So we just arrived, let's go check out the room. If I haven't made it clear, this is our splurge property. This is definitely a splurge if you wanna come here. So let's walk in and see the room. So we have a nice sink here. as well as another sink in the bathroom. Come on, let's just check this out real fast. Um, we've got a full deep shower here. Tiles, a huge soaking tub that is cast iron, which is very nice detail. Um, obviously stone countertops, looks like quartz. Um, a huge bathroom actually, this is enormous. Okay, let's go check out here. Check out the rest of this room because this is the main, this is the thing, right? This is the view. We have a king size bed. This thing, do you see how thick this is? This thing is amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess that it's comfortable. I'm gonna try it out just real quick. Oh yeah, here we go. This is nice. Okay, so I'm excited. You've got coffee for the mornings, complimentary waters, wine glasses, so you can bring your own bottle of wine um, here, which is beautiful. I love the details in the ceilings here with the wood and the green. That's really beautiful. Okay, so the entertainment center, this is this is actually a TV behind here. There's actually a refrigerator in, in the bottom. It doesn't look like it, but it is. But let's check this out first. This is the TV. Oh, I don't know, what is that? A 48 inch nice flat screen TV. In here is the, where the refrigerator is. It even comes with water for you already. I don't know what's in, oh, this is just drawers. Okay, good. Those are Audubon prints. So those are prints out of the Audubon book of birds, um, which is a nice little touch for the room. And those are obviously marsh birds, which this is the low country, so I like that. Um, sitting area to read a book, a nice table. If you actually want to do some work, we can get that done here. But come on out and let's check out the view. It's a beautiful sunny day here. The temperature is about 78 degrees. It's November, the beginning of November. So I think it's a great time to be here. There's not too many crowds or anything. And we have this panoramic view. There's two pools here. There's a pool right there. Um, and then there's a, another pool that's further on down. And then there's all kinds of beach walk. So the beach here goes for five miles in that direction. So they said that you can take the beach and walk for five miles. So if you wanna get your exercise, 
and see some scenery. We're gonna do that here coming up pretty soon. So this is our own private balcony off over here, just over the thing. We'll take more pictures of it later, but there's the pool there. One of, I believe, three pools that are in this property. Over here, there's another pool. Down over there, I can see it. And then I think there's another pool way off over into the distance there. Oh, there's three, one, two, and then one over there, three. So they're all next to each other, which is kind of cool. And then tomorrow morning, this is where we're gonna be, enjoying our nice cup of coffee from the Nespresso machine, um, enjoying these waves. You could, I don't know if you could hear this or not, but you can hear the waves crashing off into the distance. It's just incredible. We're gonna show you guys the beach as well. So we'll walk out there, we'll take a look at it. We'll go check out all the pools, we'll look at all the grounds and we'll show you guys everything. There are over 40 activities to do at the Sea Island Resorts. This does not include the beautiful pools that they have. Each of the resorts has one to three pools. The place we stayed actually has three different pools, which were incredible, and they have an adult-only pool. So the beach club can be a place and a great place for families, but if you want a little time away from the kids, then you can go to the adults-only pool. They also have a bowling alley, which was incredible, and this is a great place just to have a quick casual meal, as well as to watch your favorite sporting game on TV. And while you're doing that, if you want to, you can also have a quick bowl in the bowling alley. For the kids at the beach club, there's the arcade, which is, by the way, all free. So there's not many places you go where the arcades are actually free, but there's pinball games and racing games and every single one of them are free. They don't cost a penny and I think you may lose your kids in there for the entire day, if not the entire trip when you come here. There's also tennis courts, so many tennis courts. Um, they have tennis um, experts there who will help you and give you lessons if you want to as part of your stay. Um, that does cost extra, of course. Um, but that is one of the things you can do here and they have bikes you can rent so if you want to take a bike and go for miles around the island you can absolutely do that with the bikes there but they have everything they also have kayaking and dolphin tours and owls and they have um, a naturalist and they have a history tour of the property and you can do horseback riding there if you want to they even have bingo and archery so if you're looking for a place where it's non-stop activities or it's a place where you just want to rest and relax then the sea island resorts are the place for you now let me talk a little bit about the golf courses because the lodge holds pga tournaments there every year high-end golfing expert golfing um, if you are into that this is see saint simon islands maybe the place for you with the different number of golf courses that you can play on here would take you probably a week to go through them all and if relaxation for you includes golfing then the place to absolutely stay is the lodge it is geared and designed specifically for golfers and whether you're a junior just starting out or a pga champion there's no better place for a golfer to learn and have fun than their three championship golf courses in the morning we popped over to the cloisters to have um, their complimentary coffee and danishes and we were able to sit in the atrium they also have uh, free newspapers New York Times, USA Today, so if you like to get caught up on your papers, you can do that while you're there. The atrium's this beautiful spot, birds singing, beautiful pictures, the ceiling's amazing, and um, it's a really great place to sit together and figure out what you're gonna do for the day. On vacation, I always enjoy browsing the local shops, just to see what they have that's different, any local things that we can pick up. And one of the things I always actually buy from every place we go to is a Christmas ornament. And um, if you look at our decorating the tree video, you'll see how every year we collect things and then when we put them on the tree, we look at what we've gotten and have the memories of all the different places that we've been. But St. Simon's Island has a really great um, little downtown area with quite a few shops that you can browse. It's a good way to spend maybe an hour, an hour and a half. If you really like to shop, maybe three hours. Um, but it's right there at the pier and um, it's quite a nice way to spend the afternoon. After visiting Fort Frederica, we popped by Christ Church. And Christ Church is actually an Episcopal church, 
that began its, as a mission in 1736, and it would become one of the first Episcopal dioceses in Georgia in 1823. I'm here to tell you that no trip to Georgia is complete without a stop at a traditional Southern barbecue place, and we found one called the Southern Soul Barbecue. This was a little outdoor eating place that's always busy. The entire trip as we drove by there, it was always packed with people. So in order to try everything, we ordered the sampler platter, which had some ribs on it, and it had some brisket on it, and it had some pulled pork on it, and then we just got a side of um, potatoes and a side of um, hush puppies, which were phenomenal. And then, of course, nothing would be complete without a southern sweet tea, and so we had to get that too. I personally thought that the ribs were amazing, but Paul said that he loved the brisket the best. If you're going down here and you need to get your southern barbecue on, stop at Southern Soul Barbecue. So we bought a ticket to the Homefront Museum as part of the lighthouse, and I was kind of like, okay, we'll go look at it. But what really, a World War II museum on, in America? I wasn't really sure what it was gonna be like. But I have to tell you, it was one of the things I really, really, really enjoyed. Just again, because I'm a history buff, I enjoy learning about it. So the St. Simons Coast Guard Station on East Beach was constructed by Franklin Roosevelt in 1936 as part of the public works administration projects that he took on at that time. The first watch was on April 1st, 1937, and the beach was much closer to the station at that time. The original mission was to rescue swimmers and assist boats in distress, etc. But then World War II came along, and the most significant life-saving effort in the station's history was on April 8th in 1942, when two merchant ships, the SS Esso Baton Rouge and the SS Oklahoma, were torpedoed by German U-boats off the coast of St. Simons Island, and it killed 22 crew. I didn't even know that German U-boats were that close to the United States. There's also history there about the shipbuilding that they did in Brunswick and how fast the ships were made, which was really incredible in the speed. And what their plan basically was is they were, they were going to build the ships faster than the U-boats could sink them. And they were building these ships that were six, seven, eight stories tall and completing them like in a week's time. It was really amazing. Anyway, so I did enjoy our visit to the home front World War II Museum. And if you've got the time to do it, I think it's really worth the trip. When I go on vacation, having a great meal is very important to me. I hate, hate, hate to spend money on food and let it be crappy food, fried food, overdone food, food people cook that nobody cares about. Um, so I spend a lot of time trying to figure out the right places to eat. We found tonight the Georgia Sea Grill and the service was impeccable. You can tell they really cared about their food and the flavors in their food, and I highly recommend it as a place to go for dinner. Okay, so I got the vegetarian ravioli for the vegetables on our second bout. We're sitting here at the piano bar, and you look right over there. There's the Thai plant of piano, and we got really lucky, and we got this totally private food, which I'm kind of excited about. So I've got a nice red Chianti, which makes my night, and I'm going to try the ravioli, so let's go. It's good. Great place to come for dinner. Georgia Sea Grill. I had the salmon tonight. It was very fresh, very delicious, and cooked to perfection. Not only, I not always get a good cooked salmon. Sometimes you get overcooked, sometimes undercooked. This was cooked perfect and is very fresh. You can tell that this restaurant really takes care and takes pride in their food. 